All right, everybody, it is finally time for the 40,000 subscriber Q&A answers video. And without further ado, let's get started. Gamer of Rock asks, what are your top five favorite anime of all time? Dragon Ball Z, Cowboy Bebop, Bleach, um, oh, Fooly Cooly, and I'm probably forgetting some others in there that I've watched. Uh, oh, Full Metal Alchemist, I really like. Uh, One Punch Man, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot, but let's just go with the five I said first. The Last Piece of Cake. What's your favorite anime besides Cowboy Bebop? I already know that one. Um, let's go with, let's go with Dragon Ball Z or Full Metal Alchemist. I like both of those. Canal GXZ. Where does your channel's name come from, and why did you change from the Hive Minded to the Hive Leader? So, the whole thing started out as a collaboration blog between me and some friends and Wibbles and Action Hero and Tokunut, and we all kind of had similar thoughts on things, so we called ourselves the Hive Minded. And so the blog was called The Hive Minded. And I was the Hive Leader, and then everybody else picked their own handles from there. And eventually the blog kind of died out because everybody didn't really have a passion for this whole thing like I did. And so it all kind of died out, and uh, the Hive Minded was no more, so I figured, well, why continue to call it the Hive Minded when there is no Hive Minded, it's just the Hive Leader. So it changed and it just became the Hive Leader. Killer Raider, why do you hate Final Fantasy XIV? Also, hello. Hello. Um, I don't hate Final Fantasy XIV. I just don't particularly like it all that much. And I think it just has to do with the fact that I'm a healer in that game. Uh, being an astrologer really helped where I had all the cards and everything to deal with. But end of the day, healing's kind of boring in that game. I don't know why. It's just, it's not very fun for me. I, I want to like it. I just, I just don't. Eoza. I think it's Eoza. Eoza, have you raided in any MMO before? Also, favorite MMO memory. Okay, so yes, I have. World of Warcraft, the original EverQuest, um, SWOTOR, Secret World. I, I've raided in a lot of MMOs, and it, it does happen. Um, and favorite MMO memory is the first time me and my friends really grouped up in EverQuest 1. We went to a dungeon, I can't remember which one in particular, but we were all running away from a monster that, or a, a train that somebody pulled. They pulled a train and we were running from it and our warrior stayed behind and he was like, just go guys, I've got this. And we were like, okay, we all run away. And I stayed behind uh, to heal him along the way as he ran for it after everybody escaped. And that was just really cool because he was like, you saved me, you were my hero. And in EverQuest 1, when you die, it meant something. So this was a big deal. Sin's trick is, what's an awesome story that you have to bleep out most of it? Uh... The story of how we made our first child. Yeah, there you go. A slight drizzle. What was the music in this video? I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe Firefall? I, I really don't know. Numbers. You want us to ask anything. Well, just so I can make sure it feels like anything, how did you lose your V-card? <laughs> Way too early and stupidly. Yeza Zerazia. Your first link in Twitch is broken. That's not a question. Jazz Jikt. Hmm, what are some upcoming games you are looking forward to playing? And will we see them on Twitch or on this channel? Also, are you getting the XCOM expansion? If so, you should make me a soldier. So, yes, I did play XCOM, the expansion. Again, I put this video on a while ago, so I apologize for that. Um, but there's a lot of games I'm looking forward to playing. Destiny 2, which I think I've got footage of going right now. Uh, Wolfenstein, the new Assassin's Creed. Uh, the new Mario, and just a whole bunch of stuff. And yes, you'll see some of them on Twitch and some of them on the YouTube channel. Really, the things that go on Twitch are usually games that I want to play that I don't feel are right for a video. So just a lot of games that I really want to play. Uh, and again, it'll just be scattered throughout. Fever, do you think I'm pretty? No. I think you're gorgeous. Big Dick Rick, why doesn't my dad love me? I don't know. Why doesn't my dad love me? Draxel Gaming. Will you ever touch back with old MMOs like Arc Age that had the hype train burn, just to see what the heck they do now? Also, I use my Amazon Prime sub for you on Twitch now. Well, thank you, Draxel Gaming. I appreciate that. Uh, and yes, I will eventually probably go back to these older MMOs that I've touched on once before, like Arc Age. I'll eventually go back to it at some point. Iced Broom. All the questions, eh? Yes, I'm Canadian and proud of it. Eh, eh. Hey Hive, will you do a video on the PvE modes that WG is bringing out in World of Warships? Probably at some point, maybe? I don't know. Hive, will you ever do a video on Path of Fire for Guild Wars 2? Yes, I did. Again, this video came out a while. Sorry. Hive, is Wibbles really a twin? Yes, she is. She's an identical twin, but they're mirror image. So, like, their hair parts on 
different sides, but other than that they are completely identical, and their personalities are different. Hive, why does Toku have so many bad dad jokes? Because he's a bad dad. Let's see here, what else do you got? Hive, will you have more videos with your kids in them? Yes, I will. I'm starting to enjoy doing that, and it's taking on like this new meaning of the hive leader. Is that now my kids are the hive, so I'm like their leader. It kind of, it kind of works. Hive, please keep looking for cheaper ways to make the fuck shovel plushie. <laughs> that is so expensive. I'll keep looking at it though. Um, let's see here. What other things do you have? Would you ever be open to doing charity live streams with charities? Yes, I do plan on doing some charities. I did one for raising funds for the hurricane relief. Um, I plan on doing some ones for like extra life at some point. Uh, so it'll happen eventually. Hive, when you play the new expansion for Guild Wars 2, what will be your most loved slash favorite mount? Um, personally, I love the raptor. I mean, it's the raptor, come on. What do you think about the current season of Game of Thrones? Also, who is your most loved character in it? Okay, confession time. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Ugh. Ugh. I don't watch it. Um, not because of any reason, but other than I don't have a lot of time at night after my kids go to bed. Because, um, again, you can't watch Game of Thrones with your kids up. Um, so once they go to bed, I don't have a lot of time. I'm either working on Hive Leader videos or I'm going to bed. So <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to watch adult shows, unfortunately. So I don't I don't get to watch Game of Thrones. But um, I'll just say I, I like... Peter Dinklage. He's cool. Queer is. The Q and A's hurt. Yeah, kinda. Also, which do you prefer? So, Sue, Sue, or So? Uh, I'll go with So, S O W, Spirit of Wolf from Original EverQuest. I like that one. Jalil 2002. How do you feel of all your dead soldiers in your video of XCOM 2 on Twitch? I, I feel bad for them. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Calm and happy. Will you ever finish Outlast 2? No. What made you do. A voice in SWL, I love Secret World, and they asked me if I wanted to try out. I said yes, so there you go. I mean, I love that game, and why wouldn't I want to be in it? How old are you? I am 33, and my wife is 31. Dibble Dog, 1252. Every question, do you think that's a good idea? Of course I do. What's the line you did you find the most annoying in Secret World Legends? Um, gall. The most annoying? I'm not really sure. There was one line in there that was a really big tongue twister, and it drove me nuts and I can't remember what it is now but if you listen back you can probably hear it because I had to like slow down to really get it. Sarah Irvine, what do you think are the biggest changes for the channel in the last year, specifically since your last AMA? Well, I don't know, I've started covering more than just MMOs, so I still cover MMOs, I just I cover other stuff as well and kind of jump back and forth, so I think that's the biggest change is that I'm now just kind of free from uh, MM only MMOs, so yeah. Yonix, how often do you poop? Well, I'm missing a gallbladder, so a lot, actually. Brian Zumniski. Out of every single MMO you've played, which race and class slash job would you be if you had to live the rest of your life? Hmm. If I had to live it for the rest of my life, okay. Also, have I heard of Secret Legends? Because I don't think you've seen anyone talk about it yet. Um, so, yeah. I would pick, uh, let's go with High Elf Cleric. I like High Elf Cleric from original EverQuest 1. Let's go with that. And... Have I heard of Secret World Legends? Yes, I've heard of it. A lot. If you don't get that, or if you don't come to Twitch, you don't get that joke, but yes, I've heard of it. Niall the Night Owl. How did you get the idea for your channel? Um, from a lot of other channels that I watched on YouTube at the time, I discovered uh, the channel Peanut Butter Gamer and JonTron and a few others and said, hey, I could do that, except for MMOs, because they don't cover MMOs. I could do that. Mad Chrome. So the first time I asked if you could give me a hug, I remember that. This time, can we have a family group hug? Um, sure. Give me a minute on that one, though, because we got to get the family in here, and the baby is asleep, so hold on. Hug! Hug. Squishing the I'm squishing them. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you lose any internal organs? <laughs> yes. There you go. Hope you liked it. VG Moose's plays games. Q&A, what's my third favorite color? Let's see here. I'm going to go with blue. Blue is probably my third favorite color. Knocked. If the Hive Leader was a superhero, what would be the origin story? Well, one day, my mother, when she was pregnant with me, fell into a vat of super goo, and I emerged as a full-grown human with this voice. And that's when my channel started. Brandon Mazone. Can you please narrate my life? Well, sure, I can do that. Just send me the script, I guess. Haunting Demon. Have you ever heard of Secret World Legends? I hate you. Danny V. When, why, and how did you start playing MMOs? Um, I started playing MMOs when I was really young. I first started with MUDs, so like the text-based 
MMOs. And that's because I moved away from one of my best friends in elementary school. And um, we didn't really have any other way to keep track of each other other than through games like that. So we just started playing MUDs together. And that's kind of how it evolved into MMOs and eventually where I am now. What's the story behind your MMO addiction? Well, again, those were the games I played most with my friends. So that just kind of kept going and it's the things I really enjoy. And I was like, they never end. Why would I play anything else? Bonus question, how did I meet Wibbles? Well, Wibbles and I worked at the same place um, at a Barnes and Noble. We met through there and um, had an illicit, illegal relationship in that we shouldn't have been dating, but we did anyway, and yeah, it worked out. BMO3. Have your wife and sister-in-law ever pranked you using their twin powers? So no, after you get to know them, they don't look all that similar anymore, so they couldn't ever trick us into believing one was the other because their voices are slightly different, and again, if you know them well enough, they don't look well enough alike. So even though they're identical, you, you can tell the difference, so no. Cluso, what is your religious affiliation? I will never talk about religion on this channel or politics either, so the Hive Leader has no religious or political affiliation. Thank you. 9C, do you like r r r rap? Um, not really. I mean, it's not bad, just not my thing. Contest Shipper, how did you and your wife meet? Once again, at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I was actually training at Barnes & Noble. She had already been there a little while and she was my trainer. So she trained me on how to work at Barnes & Noble. What was the first game you ever played? Um, probably something for the Atari. I think like Pong for the Atari would be the first game I ever played. The first game I really remember ever playing was Mario on the NES, but yeah, Atari stuff. What is the worst game you've ever played? Ooh, tough call. I've played a lot of bad games. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna go with One Piece Online. Yeah, it's a terrible game. Mortis, how do slash would you deal with depression? Chris C, what was your first email address? Oh, God, I don't even remember. Um, a friend set it up for me, and I just don't even remember what it was anymore. It was a Hotmail account, though. I know that much. Ellie and Ken, hey, I want to know your opinion on today's MMOs, specifically its community and how the publishers treat their games. Eh, MMO communities are a bit different than how they used to be. So when MMOs still had subscription cost and that's all that existed, MMOs were a little more exclusive of a community and now that everything's kind of free to play everyone jumps into mmos every so often so the community varies from game to game um but each one usually has their clicks and their supporters and their haters and eh, it's just it, it's become more of a free-for-all uh with you know the internet becoming more popular every day and the way publishers treat their games I don't think they treat their games any differently than they used to um they just found new ways to monetize them so in the olden days, it used to be just go buy a game, and then it only had a certain amount of content, and then they'd put out another one. Uh, today's day, they put out expansions and DLC and loot boxes and all this other stuff. It's just cycles. Eventually, it'll get back to either just buying games or they'll figure out some other form of monetization. It's same old, same old crap. Mortem. Would I rather make video games or do YouTube slash Twitch? I have no desire to make a video game. None. Game development is a terrible job from what I've seen of friends who are developers. They are just, it's an awful job and it's not something I would ever want to do. Um, so much rather do Twitch and YouTube. That's what I enjoy doing. Now I might like to write for a video game, like do writing, but I wouldn't want to make it or anything like that. The Spiffing Brit. How many cups of tea do you think you could drink in one sitting? Well, I can tell you for sure I can probably do four or five cups of tea in one sitting. That's on experience. Toga McGurga. Will you marry me? I would, but I don't know how that works. I'm not in a polygamous state, so we'll see how that works out. Dark Hearts, what's your shoe size? Well, a nine and a half. Ziffer, what's your favorite MTG color? Don't say green. Um, MTG, oh, Magic the Gathering. Um, probably black or white. I had a white deck that I really loved at some point. Um, so we're gonna go with white. Luchesun, I think that's right. Luchesun, I don't know. How many MMOs did you play and tested so far? Or how many MMOs have I played and tested so far? Whew, um, I have no idea. I have lost count, like hundreds. I have no idea. Paladin Gamer Z. This may be open-ended, but how do you choose what to review slash talk about with each video? What is your thought process and what to cut and what to leave in your videos? So whenever I play a game, I sit there and decide whether or not it has enough material in there for me to make jokes about. And then from there, I just kind of take that and say, okay, this is what I'm talking about. And if the game doesn't have enough jokes in there or 
I don't think I can talk about enough in the game, then I cut it. And when I'm actually making the video, typically I don't really cut anything unless I write it and then after I deliver the joke and I get into editing and I think, ah, this just doesn't work and I cut it out. But generally I try to keep everything I add in there, so... Yeah. Jason Ophi, do you listen to music other than in video games? If so, what's your favorite song? Tough call. I do listen to a lot of music. Um, I used to be a musician back in the day, so I listened to a lot of music. And my favorite song... Uh, I have a lot of favorite songs, so it's kind of hard to say. Most recently, I'll say Uptown Funk, because that song is freaking awesome. I love that old school vibe that it's got going. I, I just love that. Lanejou Edwards. I think that's right. Levon Zidou Leon. How did you meet your wife? Again, Barnes & Noble. Um, she trained me at Barnes & Noble, and that's how I met her. Um, first thing we ever talked about was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. So, you know, new information there. Timothy Nugent, you have a long comment here. Let's hear. Is there an MMO that is still relatively new or that is coming out soon that has a decent leveling time that is actually difficult? You kind of talk about the original EverQuest, and that's the last one I can remember being like a long learning curve uh, or a long leveling curve. So, wow. Um, the latest one I can think of is maybe Black Desert, but even then... <sighs> um, no. I can't think of any. Like, they, you level up so fast in all of them now, I don't have any clue. Whew. Um, maybe wait for Pantheon, Rise of the Fall, and it's basically EverQuest 1 all over again, so... Just wait for that one, I guess. Game Mind Mike. Why the sad music in the video? Eh. What would you prefer? A floating castle with every metal slash rock legend there was is slash will be, or a spaceship with every pop techno legend that was, is, will be. Tough call. I'm going to have to go with the spaceship only because that's going to be a little more fun flying through space than a floating castle would be. I would prefer the rock metal legends to the pop techno legends, but, you know, if I had to choose, I'd rather have the spaceship than the floating castle. Last one. How often do you hit your small toe and why? Fairly often, I guess. I just stub it on stuff. Huh? I don't know. Zero second. Would you rather have a finger as a tongue or tongues as fingers? What? <laughs> that might be the weirdest question I've ever been asked. Um, so congratulations, you win the weird question of the day award. Um, I'm going to go with tongues as fingers, only because that'd be weird. I think that'd be cool. AJ Zabuda, what games embarrass you and Wibbles the most that you don't care and like anyway? For me? For me, let's see here. Games I like that are embarrassing. I don't know. I'm not embarrassed of much of anything. I like a lot of mobile games. There's a there's a game that was on uh, the phone, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes or something like that, that is like a super bad mobile game. It's not great, but Wibbles and I loved it for a long time. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Night Shadow, is math related to science? Yeah, like hardcore. Math is related to everything. Math is like the one true constant in life. So, yes. Min Chung. Do you have a favorite quote? Eh, not really. I don't think. Um, hmm. Trying to think. No. Nope. Sure don't. What meal and or food do you enjoy eating? Lately, I've really liked wings. Like, Wingstop wings. They're really good. Lurch USA. Central Times. So where are you? I am in Texas. Maximus. How big is it? Well, it's pretty big. About 2,500 square feet. We're talking about houses, right? Bartan Tyrix. All right, then, time for a very personal question. What color is your toothbrush? Whoa. Personal question, man. It's blue. Aria. If you were a pizza, what toppings would you have to increase your chances of survival at a party full of hungry people? Pretty easy. That's anchovies. Nobody likes anchovies. Why is that ever a thing? Why was that ever a thing? Mirnoli. What is a major goal to accomplish over the next 10 years? I don't know. Is, is that, like, personal or channel? Because personal... I don't know, get more voice acting roles and try to make my way into that. Channel goals, hit 100,000 subscribers is kind of like the goal. So once that happens, that's like, yay, I did it. So yeah, we'll go with that. What did you want to be when you grew up? I always kind of wanted to be an engineer, but after I got into that in college, I just didn't like it. So um, then I wanted to be a musician, writer, so eh, I'm kind of doing it all now. Pancakes or waffles? We're gonna go with waffles. I like waffles better than pancakes, I think. Would you consider doing a review on Dream Daddy Simulator? I would, but I think it's kind of been overdone, unfortunately, and also I've watched the game. It's a good game, and it takes itself seriously, and it's a serious game. I don't think it really needs jokes done about it. So, no. No, probably not. What do you think MMOs will look like in the next few decades? I have no clue. Tovasti123. 
best MMORPG now to play PvE-wise? Uh, Guild Wars 2, I think, I really enjoy right now, um, specifically. And also Elder Scrolls Online. Both of those, I think, are the great MMOs to play PvE-wise right now. If you gave me a hundred million dollars, would I leave my kids and wife behind and love me for the rest of your life? I don't know, Wibbles might kill me if I say no, because she might want the money. So, like, if I take it, I have to give her the money, and then... I don't know, she might want that. I don't know, ask Wibbles. Quickie. Hey Hive, do you high five yourself at 5 a.m. because you finally succeeded at that internet thing? 40,000 is not succeeding, it's like bare minimum success level. But um, yeah, all the time. Dr. John Zoiberg, have I ever suffered from depression? Eh, kind of, I guess. In college I went through what some people would call depression, I suppose. Um, yeah. Shmesh, will you marry me? Again, I have to look into this polygamy thing, I'm... I, I promise I'll look into it. Wolf, did you do a voice acting job in Guild Wars 2? Nope, not me, but hey, if you're somebody who sounds like me, that's cool, because that means there are people out there who sound like me who are doing voice work, and that's what I want to do, so yeah. Scython, video on a random Warhammer 40k game for your 40k sub milestone. Um, it's actually a really good idea, I should have thought of that, but uh, no, I didn't do that. I should have, though. That's a really decent idea. Bjorn Adele, what country that you currently haven't visited yet do you wish to travel to? France. I really just want to go to France with my wife and just chill out at, like, cafes and just people watch. That's, like, all I want to do. Fuck Shovel, why am I so trash at Bloodborne that I can't beat Orphan of Coast? I don't know. Um, get good, brah. Takamura. How are you finding life in the 2010s compared to the 40s and 50s? Well, there's a lot more technology around and... A lot less people are dying of the Black Plague, I suppose. Wait, we're talking about the 16, 40s, and 50s, right? Do you still miss Caroline? Every day. What was the logic behind injecting people with praying mantis DNA? It was just more of a can we type of thing. It wasn't really any logic behind it. Is the army of mantis men still a threat to humanity? <laughs> it's the only threat to humanity. Jonathan Brookins, what's the origin of the hive leader name? Again, we started a blog called The Hive Minded, and since it was kind of my idea, I called myself The Hive Leader. Question two, why doesn't Wibble post more vids on her channel? She's a busy woman. She's got three kids to take care of, a house to take care of, me to take care of. She's, she's busy. Three, what is your favorite type slash flavor of tea, and why is it Gemini? Uh, it's not. It's Earl Grey. Just Earl Grey. I like an Earl Grey cream that uh, exists out there. It's really good. And last question from Jonathan Bookins. What was the first MMO you played? Again, MUDs. Um, if you want to count those, it was one called Ancient Anguish, and first graphical mud I played, I can't remember if it was The Realm or Meridian 59, one of the two, I can't remember which. Dane Brock, are you enjoying the Twitch streams as a way to play games you want to play, or are you still finding that you crave that alone time off camera? So, yeah, no, it's definitely the way I play games I want to play, like, I don't get a lot of time to play games other than the YouTube videos, and Twitch is the time where I get to do that, so I do really enjoy that a lot. To Chal Chiroen, do I know Thailand? Yes, I know Thailand. If yes, have you been there before? No, I have not. If no, would you like to go? Yeah, that'd be fun. No Life Naibi, will you be reviewing Roblox soon? Probably not. I don't, I don't think. Ro Oath, if you could have any job at all, no limitations, what would it be? Probably either doing this or being a voice actor, one of the two. Phil Fisher, do you have any other hobbies than MMO slash YouTube? Do you keep yourself in good shape? Um, no, not really. Like, this is my hobby. This is what I do. And do I keep myself in good shape? Kinda. I'm not terribly out of shape. I'm round as a shape, right? No? Well, yeah. Kinda. I work out um, pretty much every day. And yeah, I keep myself in pretty good shape. Diedrich Zandervoort, will you be trying the new Guild Wars 2 expansion? Yes, again, sorry this video is so late. But yes, yes I will. Magikarp's Ghost. Why don't you love me? Well, why don't you love me, Magikarp's ghost? Why don't you love me? Varger Helsing, how many letter and kids have you sacrificed to game to write comedy in their game? I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I'll assume you mean how many kids have I sacrificed to write, or how many kids would I sacrifice to write comedy in a game? All of them. Jimmy Prophet, do you plan on playing Blade and Soul again? At some point, I've actually thought about it recently, that I should go back and test it out again. But yeah, probably soon enough at some point. Paul Strangeo. Canadians are very nice and no large population living in those frigid temperatures in a place with moose that enjoy stomping people to death could actually be that nice. So why do you think people keep perpetuating the lie about Canada being a real place? I don't know. I guess we just all want it to be real. Question two. Occasionally your voice narrates my dreams with this weird amazing commentary. Why are you visiting my dreams? It's Inception, dude, but now that I've told you, you're gonna know about it, so thanks a lot, you ruined the surprise. Dark Metal, what is your favorite setting for a video game? Um, probably sci-fi. I really enjoy sci-fi settings. 
to how do you think games have changed over the years? What are some good changes and what are some things you think should not have been dropped? So some good things like graphics have changed, gameplay has gotten tighter, people kind of know what they're doing more in games, which is awesome. Um, but things that are dropped or that shouldn't have been dropped, exploration, like this sense of wonder and uh, exploring places has been dropped in games. Like they rather have a linear adventure and that's just not what people want anymore or that's not what I want anymore at least. And three, if Whipples has an identical twin sister, then how do you tell them apart? Again, they're a mirror image, so you can kind of tell from their hair, but they also have different voices, different personalities, different mannerisms, so they're they're different enough. Again, they, they look exactly alike, but again, when you get them together, they are different enough that you can tell. Dark Fash, when and why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? So five years ago at the beginning of October was uh, when I started my YouTube channel, and I decided to do it because other YouTube channels weren't covering MMOs in a comedic fashion. And that's what I wanted to watch, and so I figured I'd do it myself. Carl Atterbury. Mortimer for Twitch there. Hi, Mortimer. 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 How did you and Wibbles meet, and how the hell did you convince her to marry you? Um, again, Barnes & Noble, where we met and she trained me. And how did I convince her to marry me? That was a pity thing. I was like, please marry me. And she was like, oh my god, shut up. Yes, fine, whatever. And there you go. Pity. Mr. Who. Can you make a Donald Trump impression? No, I cannot. I am not an impressionist. That is not something I do. Zestier, question one. Considering some recent updates from the Kickstarter MMOs, Crowfall, Chronicles of Illyria, Legends of Aria, Camelot Unchained, which one are you looking forward to the most now? Um, tough call. I'm still looking forward to Crowfall um, a lot. I'm still looking forward to Ashes of Creation if they ever get their act together. Um, so we're going to go with Crowfall or Ashes of Creation. Question two, are you looking forward to any Korean or Chinese MMOs? Moonlight Blade, Lost Ark, um, coming out in the West. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Lineage Eternal. I think that'll be cool. I'm also looking forward to Lost Ark. I think that should be fun as well. So those are the two I'm kind of looking forward to. And question three, in your opinion, what is the worst possible piece of topping? Uh, I think I kind of went over this already. Anchovies. Why? And that's it. That's all the questions, I'm pretty sure. So wow. Thank you all so much for asking. If you have any more questions, just feel free to ask me on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, and I'll answer them, of course. Thank you all so much for 40,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me. 50,000 is the next milestone, and at that time, you're going to get the guide to DPSing in MMOs. So, yeah, that should be a good one. So, yeah, other than that, I will see you all soon with another Hive Leader video. And please come out to the streams on Saturdays, 10 p.m. Central. It's fun. Very different from videos, though. Just keep that in mind. All right. Bye.